This is my brand new uh, uh, there we go, barrel aquaponic system, and you can see the dr the drain part has just come into effect. That's a flood and drain on this bed, so it's filled up with the bell siphon in here. And as soon as it's hit the got the water lock happening, it's then started to drain out into the bottom. So as you can see, it was down to about here, and it started filling up again. So I've added fish. Just a few little goldfish yesterday. I'm very aware that it's very, very cold here at the moment, so I'm not going to get much in the way of growth from goldfish. And because I'm using goldfish, again, the nitrate production isn't going to be as high as it could be. Um, so I'm very, very aware of that. So we're just taking things very, very slow. And I also just had a power outage, which I haven't set up <clears throat> any type of backup for this. This is just a small little system. Um, and hopefully it will be okay. I, you would, I do advocate having the backup system, but being such a small little little system, I'm hoping that um, <clears throat> there won't be any huge problems. If there is, I do have ways and means with my other... I've got the backup system over there for my much larger aquaponic system in there. So I do have ideas and plans on what I'm going to do about that one personally. So this is the um, constant flow, so the water is constantly at that level. And the white stuff that you see on here, this is what happens when the expander clay dries out. You get some of the salts that, it's clay, it's been cooked, uh, cooked to over 2000 degrees Celsius. And um, when it dries out, it gets a little bit of that, that dust on it. Just those mineral salts that are in the production part of it. And um, that will eventually wash off, die off. Now this whole system is under cover, I've got my roof, it is fully under cover, but it gets the sun from this direction for half the morning. So I've been watching that, especially over winter, to see how much sun it'll be getting, and um, it gets a fair bit. So just walking you through, I've got the fish tank part down the bottom, I've got a small little aquarium pump, I have a, if we can see, I've got a valve in here with a T junction if I'm needing to adjust the flow rate because with a flood and drain system you often do need to play around with the flow rate to get it working. The pump in here can also be adjusted. Then we've got the pipe that comes straight up the clear one up and into the back. This is a solids separator just a bit of a DIY one but it works well and we can see that it's catching solids and it's also got some filter media from my other aquaponic system and um, We've got the valves on either side, it comes out. And then, yeah, filters down through and then back into the tank. Pretty basic. Um, these are uh, insectivore-based pellets, protein pellets, that are commonly used for goldfish. So a lot of different things in it they need. You do need to make sure that whatever fish you're putting in there, you're giving them the appropriate diet. So that's not my aquaculture grade diet this is for uh, goldfish but it's insect based for their protein which is awesome so I'm not going to get the same growth in this bed these two beds I should say as I will with my bigger system but you know I'll be able to get a fair bit still just wanting to show people the difference between the beds how you work how they run what you can and can't grow because what you can grow in this one that flood and drains is a bit different to what you can grow in this one but you know they will work with just put in a um, strawberry plant from the same place at the same time in both beds. So, yeah, we'll just see how it all goes. A bit smaller than I would like, but hey, you know, give me some extra herbs. So, you know, I can use the herbs here and I don't have to put them in the aquaponics system. Uh, sorry, in the bigger aquaponics system, I can put them in the, I can use other, other things. But just quickly, you will see over here, I have been sprouting my own seeds into seedlings so for me I'm wanting to be as self-sufficient as possible and use as little electricity as possible so just the one system is set up works well rather than many many pumps everywhere that's just a me thing right yeah so we'll, we'll keep it keep an eye on how this goes over the next few weeks hey and see the progress well thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you've got any questions or comments make sure you do leave them below and hit that subscribe button so you can find out when I've got more videos being posted 
And don't forget to follow me on other social media because I do different lives on different social media on different days. So, again, thank you for watching. I really value and appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed it.